Anti-Semitic violence has left many people on edge. But despite the attacks, members of the Jewish community vow to stay strong to fight hate. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon has more. For many of these shoppers at Zabar's, a Jewish specialty store on the Upper West Side, it's the Muncie synagogue stabbings that are occupying their minds. I can't imagine anything more horrible. Richard Cohen says he's never seen so many anti-Semitic incidents in the more than 40 years he's lived in New York City. The rise has him fearing for his safety. Uh, scared that, that I would go into some... Uh, shul synagogue and that that would happen. Even though the attack happened upstate, so many of the people that we've spoken to here on the Upper West Side say they're devastated by what took place. They say they're sending their thoughts and prayers to all those that were impacted. And during a roundtable discussion with Senator Kirsten Gillibrand at Ramapo Town Hall Monday, two mothers expressing their concerns for the safety of their son. He says to me, I have to take my yarmulke off. I'm afraid. There have been too many incidents here in New York State. My son goes back to school tomorrow. Is he safe? Since December 8, there have been 13 anti-Semitic attacks in New York State. The mayor of New York City has announced new initiatives to stem the violence, including more NYPD officers at places of worship. And Governor Cuomo has instructed state police to increase patrols of Orthodox Jewish neighborhoods. But for some local lawmakers, it's not enough. Four sent a letter to the governor requesting the National Guard's assistance in dealing with the hate. Is that every single house of worship, every single Jewish school, every single place of gathering of visibly Orthodox Jews needs to be protected. Still, despite Saturday's attack, members of the Jewish community are vowing to remain resilient. You can't be turned, turned away from living your life because of this fear. They say the best way to conquer hate is with love. On the Upper West Side, Kieran Dillon, CBS2 News. Brooklyn County officials say they're also rolling out new security measures to keep the Jewish community safe.